Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome back to Tech Point. Today our guest is Gal, the founder and CPO at Aligned. Hello. Hi everybody, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But first, please tell us what, what your company does. Sure. So Align, first of all, Align is in the B2B space. We're a SaaS platform for go-to-market teams. So Align is a collaborative workspace that helps sellers and buyers to close more deals faster. We are allowing sellers and buyers to centralize their content, conversation, and process under a single source of truth for the deal. And by doing That's so, right. we simplify the sales process and increase buyer collaboration. That's amazing. And what do you see is the biggest problem that you solve for companies? Yeah, so I think Aligned is here to solve the chaos in deals, essentially. B2B selling and buying is super, super complex. In a deal cycle, you have multiple stakeholders, endless email threads, and tons of content going back yeah. and forth uh, throughout the deal. So Align puts an end to this chaos by centralizing everything in a unified space, simplifying the deal, and helping close more deals faster. I understand. And what do you say are the top three most loved features of the platform? Yeah, that's a good question. So as a, as a, as a chief product officer, there's, I love all of, yeah, I love all of the features. <laughs> all of these features are my, my babies, but definitely I think in the top is our collaboration. So we see a lot of the competitors who are more like a mini site. Um, and for us in our digital sales room, we allow chat. So you can easily collaborate and converse with your prospects via our chat and contextual messaging. So that's huge in terms of like closing deals faster and collaborating with your prospects. Um, second one will be analytics. So we give buyer journey insights on what's going on. If you as a seller sent your room to a prospect, then you can see the prospect's behavior in the room, what interested them the most, what questions did they ask, etc. And the third one will be automation. So if I'm a sales rep, if I'm a customer success manager and I've built my process, I can duplicate my workspaces and share it with new clients super easily. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. And I'm wondering who should use a digital sales room product or who should use Aligned? What are typical customers? What are the industries? Yeah, Christian, that's a good one. So essentially, the main focus will be for go-to-market teams. So we have sales teams that are using Aligned to manage their mutual action plans and complex deals. So okay. a mutual action plan or a success plan is kind of a way to work in a collaborative uh, environment with your prospects and you make like a plan on how to close the deals. And we help simplify that. We see customer success teams that are using Aligned to onboard their clients faster with our onboarding portal and they automate the process. And for BDRs they, and SDRs, when they do outreach for leads, they use Align for better, hyper-personalized outreach via our automation capabilities. Okay. And what is the pricing for Aligned? The pricing? Yes. Yeah. So first of all, Align is free. So thanks for asking. Align is completely <laughs> free. Good. You can use most of the, of the basic features for free for as long as you want. Also, we made it free for job seekers. So if you're a sales rep or customer success trying to find a, a job, you can even log in with your Gmail and uh, you know you can use Align for your next job to put your CV and, and share the room with uh, potential VP sales or other hiring managers. Um, on the pricing side, we do charge, it starts by, it starts by $29 per seat per month. Um, and it goes up up to eighty or a hundred dollars depending on your plan. But I think you can get the main and most features, um, you know, with the fifty sixty dollars per month per seat. That's great, super value, yeah. And it's good yeah. that it's free. Then people can uh, can try it out. So you have a PLG motion, I guess. Um, yes. What's your favorite customer success story? A company <laughs> that you used and how how impacted them. I need to choose just one. It's hard. Um, <laughs> so I think my favorite customer success story would be definitely Deal. So Deal is okay. one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing unicorns ever in the yep. world. So they became a unicorn so fast. And we're super happy and proud to be part of their growth um, and help them you know, win their competition and get there. So 
deal started with us when we were a really small company. They were like one user, and now there's more than 350 users of deal wow. using Aligned. Wow. Sales team are using it to manage complex deals. Customer success using it to onboard their clients faster. Um, deal has a lot of content, a lot of different content per country, and they use Aligned to simplify their selling and onboarding process. That's great. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. How competitive yeah. is your space? Is the digital sales room space? And uh, what's your main differentiator? Wow, Christian, I think our space is one of the most competitive I've seen in a while. So it's okay. very competitive. When we started, there were like three or four players in our in our realm. And now I think there are more than 30. Wow. I'm super, super happy to share that we are one of the leaders. I think what differentiates us is first and foremost that me and my co-founder Galaga, we both come from uh, sales. So two out of the three co-founders, we come from sales. We understand sales teams. We understand customer success. We know their needs. And we build the product super, super simple and easy to use. And we build a go-to-market motion that's direct sales and PLG, and both of them work in parallel. It's called actually PLS, product-led sales. And they operate together really, really well. Um, so definitely ease of use and just the collaboration aspect of our platform. This is what differentiates us from the competition. That's awesome. I like your answer. And now more on the company side, I love to hear when exactly did you start the company and what was the idea behind it? Yeah, that's a good one. So <laughs> I actually started the company two years ago. Okay. Um, before that, I was director of sales in my previous company. And one of my top reps came to me. She was working on a $300,000 deal. There were 15 stakeholders involved. And she told me, Gal, I think we're going to lose the deal. So I told her, why? What happened? Uh, I thought we have the better product. And she said, yeah, but it's just too hard to manage everyone. And I, I think the deal is slipping away. And we, when I did a deep dive, I realized that she had troubles in orchestrating everyone and just managing the sales process. And I realized that today sales managers need to be more of managers than salespeople. So they need to really manage this complex project. And I tried to look for a solution. When I couldn't find one, I decided to quit and start the line. So in the first year and something, I was the CEO. And then uh, Yotam, my co-founder and I, we added Gal, which is now our CEO. And I moved to be chief product officer so I can focus on the product and the product vision on full time. Amazing. But do you have a tech background? I can write a single line of code till this day. <laughs> That's why I have your tab. So your tab and I started together two years ago. Uh, he's our chief technical officer, yeah. um, co-founder. He's been with us from the start and he's everything tech wise for sure. I understand. And how big is the overall team now? So now we are 20 something employees. So I think, you know, started two years ago, it was me and a computer and a slide deck trying to pitch for different CTOs. So we grew up very, very fast um, yes. and we're hoping to double the size by the end of next year. Have you raised any funding? <laughs> yes, we did raise $6 million from Hetz Ventures, which is one of the top VCs here in Israel and NFX which are um, specialists in network effects and PLG, and they sit in Silicon Valley. So they're like top tier VC globally. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Uh, what was your biggest challenge since starting the company for the last two years? I think this was a crazy journey, you know, in two years, starting from zero to 20 employees and, you know, from just an idea to a running platform with thousands of clients uh, using it daily. I think our biggest challenge would be scaling fast enough. So it doesn't matter how fast we work. We always, you know, want to scale more. There are always like more requirements from clients when we sign more clients and they're joining and they have more uh, asks. So we try to kind of keep up with demand. And yeah, I think scale, scale is challenging because the growth is faster than expected. I understand. And do you have any mistakes or learnings that you can share? We make mistakes, I believe, on a daily basis. Of course. Um, so the main thing I can share is that, you know, as founders, sometimes you get funding and then you need to hire like the team super fast and build everything and get it up and running. I think we grew from five employees to 15 employees in three months. 
doesn't sound like a lot that we triple the amount of, of people in the company and it was a bit of a rocky start and um, so I really recommend doing it more gradually let kind of you know let the boat kind of more stabilize before you you sail into deeper water and, and more stormy water um, and take the time in your hiring sometimes you want to hire so fast but you really really need to make sure that the people that you bring to the team the builders are the right builders for the long run hire slow and fire fast as the saying goes <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, how did you get your first customers for the <clears throat> platform for aligned so People knew me here in Israel in the sales teams. I actually got connected through a lot of VCs and different CROs to do consulting. Mm -hmm. So as a former director of sales, I built the playbook in my previous company and, and the sales process. So I was actually advising small startups and helping young CEOs and, and veteran CROs to build their sales process and sales team. And by doing consulting for them, I said, hey, by the way, I actually built the platform. I'd love for you to test it out. It's free. So I was sometimes doing the consulting only that I'll have like a foot in the door to get the first client in the company. That's that's how I started. Good. And today, what is the most successful go-to-market strategy that you use for acquiring new customers? <sighs> I think that we have we are viral, so we have a, a lot of virality loops. So if you're a seller and you're using Aligned to share your offering with a buyer, that buyer can actually log into Aligned. They can become a seller. They can remain a buyer, bring other buyers to the platform, oh. ask for different sellers to send them workspaces uh, via Aligned. So we have that seller brings buyer brings seller kind of a viral loop. Um, and I think that's that's our biggest growth mechanism. And social media, we have a lot of people coming from LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, just following us. We try to share a lot of inspirational content in the sales world and customer success. And we have teams coming because of that. That's crazy. Wow. And do you have any advice for people looking to start their personal brand? Looking to build communities like yours on LinkedIn, Twitter to help them maybe get partners, customers. Yeah, so I think the biggest advice is that you should surround yourself in good advisors. People that have walked similar journeys that you're interested in taking, ask questions, don't be afraid, don't be scared to ask for help. A lot of founders say, hey, okay, because I'm a founder, because I'm leading the pack, I should know best. Actually, the truth is you should get advice from different people and then take the advice that you connect to the most. But You should be open and let people help you because there's no other way to really, really exponentially grow. Totally agree. Thanks for sharing. What's the future vision for Aligned? What's next? Yeah. <laughs> so Aligned is going to be, it already started, but it's going to be the place for buyers and sellers to collaborate. So if you're a seller and you want to share your offering with a buyer, you use a workspace of Aligned for it. And if you're a buyer and you want to ask, For different vendors, you want to ask them to share their offering, you can just send them a room request via Aligned. So like you have Slack for just internal communication and you have Monday, Asana, ClickUp for project management, uh, email threads and for just day-to-day -day communication, everything that's deal-related is going to go and flow through Aligned. That's how it's going to work. Good, good. <laughs> I love that, that vision. And uh, on the personal <laughs> side, please tell us how you started your career. What is your story? Wow, that's a good one. So I actually started, I, I studied psychology. And I, after my graduate's degree, I moved to Australia for two years. That's where I got exposed into selling. When I got back to Israel, I knew that I want to work in selling. I didn't know what I want to sell. I just wanted, I just knew that I want to sell. Um, so I did my research. I realized that the high-tech industry, industry is starting to evolve. That was a few years ago, not yesterday. Um, so I decided to sell software. That's how I started as a PDR and then, you know, as an AE account executive and then as a director. I moved in and moved on from there until I uh, started Aligned. So that's on a high level. What did you say to people, let the youngsters uh, after college looking to get into sales? What I'd say for them? youngsters in general, I think that a lot of youngsters, they're, they're kind of going to think about their next position and they'll say, okay, let's see where it brings me. 
I'd actually use LinkedIn and that's what I did to see where you want to be five years from now, seven years from now. Look for these people on LinkedIn, message them, say, hey, I want to be you in five years. What should I do? What should be my career path? Look on LinkedIn and, you know, what they did in order to get there, try to trace that, try to find the co commonalities and, and see if it's a path that makes sense um, and reach out to them and get their advice. That's the best thing I can share with youngsters for sure. Totally agree. Thanks so much. How about for uh, people that are already in sales, let's say your VP of sales or uh, head of sales looking to start their own company? <laughs> what what was, what were your learnings in that uh, transition? So, <laughs> from my consulting days and, you know, in the line, we see thousands of customers and we have thousands of, you know, some of them are free users and paying users, but we see thousands of sales teams using Aligned and uh, the best, the best advice I can give is learn how to listen. So a lot of CEO, CRO, when they try to sell their product, they just pitch, pitch, pitch. This is why we're the best. This is what we can do. These are our features. But the client doesn't care. The client wants to be listened to. The client wants to be heard. The client wants to be advised. So I definitely, um, if I was a CRO or CEO of a small startup, I definitely improve my listening skills. It's something that we're not used to doing on the day to day. We're used to leading and like giving our opinion. In sales, it's different. You need to be more of a listener and kind of use the information you're getting in order to be a consultant and advise what would be the best solution for your client's problem. Perfectly said. Well, and today, what do you do as the CPO at the company? What does your day to day look like? So my day-to-day, -day, first and foremost, is planning the roadmap, seeing the features, seeing our competitive features, how we're going to win them, sitting with the product designers, product managers, product data analysts, um, and kind of plan ahead. Um, then the second part will be the execution. So just making sure that all the features are running smoothly with the team. There are no questions. They know what to build, how to design it. I'll sit a lot with the product data to make sure that our numbers are where we want them to be. And if we see anomalies, we know how to research that and improve things in our PLG motion, PLS motion. Um, I also take upon myself the operation side. So just for fun, I do all the legal and finance. So that kind of takes my head off of the creative side in product. Mm. Um, and then just do founder stuff, you know, get ready for the board, investor meetings. Yeah. Um, yeah, management meetings, etc. So that's days are long for sure. <laughs> but why did you give up the CEO role? When or why? 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 Hey, it's a good question. I think basically for me, when I started a line, we built in a PLG motion, and I felt that the most important part in the company is the product. And when I did sales, I thought about. You know, I did CEO stuff and I sold the software. At first, I thought about bringing a chief product officer of VP sales, and I just couldn't find someone that will connect to my product vision. And for me, I just felt it's the most interesting thing I can do in the company. So I decided to bring the best CEO I know, which is our co-founder, our third co-founder today, Gal Aga, um, to help wow. with the sales part and, and, you know, the investor part. So... I could focus full time on building the product, building the vision, and, and really making a platform that's a dream for every sales rep out there. Great mindset. I love it. One last question for you before we close down. What's yeah. your favorite SaaS product that you use apart from Aligned? Wow. So there's a few. I think um, for me, I think Gong is an amazing tool. Their company, their vision, the way their product is built out is simply, simply um genius the way that they simplified everything for the seller everything is automated and they keep on growing and growing as a company you can see a lot of different companies that would have rested already and kind of maintaining their current offering but gong keeps on growing and growing so it's just beautiful to see i love loom i think loom really created a community around their interactive uh, videos everything that's plg viral loop Collaborative for Teams, Loom is the go-to product to learn from. They're amazing. And as a product geek, I'm a huge fan of Figma. So for me, the way Figma is a collaborative workspace for designers, product managers, and dev team, I love their collaboration, uh, the way they operate, the simplicity of it. Um, 
Yeah, so these are my top three. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to mention today on the podcast? Yes, go to aligned.com, try Aligned. It's completely free. You can use the platform for free. Let us know if you have feedback. We'd love to hear it. And go and sell more deals, close more deals faster. You did great, Gal. Thank you so much for joining. I'm grateful. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Christian. <laughs>